Hey, what's going on, my friend? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. It's time for a Q&A video. It's gonna be a quick one. Let's jump right in. So I'm gonna answer the following Cubase question. My audio events and waveforms have disappeared and are now invisible. Now I can't do anything because the waveforms aren't there anymore. What happened? All right, so let's jump right in and answer this question. Okay, so if you don't have any visual, any waveform visuals on your audio events or on some audio events, that means that the audio is not at its original location and Cubase is not able to locate those files on your computer. That is usually due uh, to files that were misplaced or deleted. If that's the case, when you open your project, you will see the Resolve Missing Files window, uh, where Cubase is gonna let you know that files are missing. From this point, you know the files that are missing and you can locate them uh, on another location if you know where the files are, or you can locate the folder where the files are located into, so Cubase can make the link and reload them in your session. Now, if all of your audio events are blank without any waveforms, but you're still getting audio out of them, uh, that means that uh, your waveforms are just not visible. So you can resolve that by going up to edit, down to preferences, and look under event display, click on audio, and you will see the show waveforms that needs to be checked on. It is on by default. But you know, maybe in your case, this one is off and this is what you see. Okay, so again, just go down to edit, preferences, audio, and then make sure the show waveforms is checked on so you can see all of your audio events waveforms. So I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And don't forget to send me your questions so I can make more quick videos like this one. Until next time, take care and see you.